chilling out with the crew in the Discord. Opening every pack till we get bored. Every round we add cards to the ban list. Till Simo sends us a cease and desist. Well, folks, welcome to the first episode of the second season of Progression Playoffs. As a new addition, we are going to be looking at the set before we draft it, talking about some of the strategies that are available at Limited, and going over what our options will be depending on what we pull. So the Lost Millennium, for those of you unfamiliar, is the only GX set that is available in GOAT format. Many people forget that because there's no good cards in it. Uh, Brain Control is the only playable that really crept into Constructed. There are some niche cards like Medusa Worm that found homes in some Pac-Man builds, but outside of that, that's really all there was. As a result, we have almost nothing to go off of when building for Limited. However, there are a couple of cards in this set that drastically decrease the amount of available archetypes out of the starting gate. The first is the last card in the set, Lone Wolf. This card can be activated if the one and only monster on your side of the field is Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, which we don't have access to, Monk Fighter, or Master Monk. That monster can be destroyed as a result of battle and is unaffected by any of your opponent's monster effects. And there are no pieces of spell and trap card based monster removal in the first set. This is a problem that is rectified almost immediately in the very next set, but for now, this is going to be game determinative. I imagine everyone is going to play three copies of Monk Fighter, three copies of Lone Wolf, and waiting for their opponents to deck out. Now, unfortunately, establishing the Lone Wolf lock doesn't even put you in a winning position, because Monk Fighter is only a 1300 attack point monster and can't get over the monsters like... Uh, Maui Interceptor Cannons, which are the premier defensive threats of this format. So we have a couple of options when dealing with this strategy. Firstly, it's unrealistic we're going to be able to get rid of the Master Monk, but we still might be able to win regardless. Grave Oja is a rare monster with 1600 attack, which outclasses almost everything else in the format. When there's a face-down defense position monster on your side of the field, no one can attack this monster, which is great news, and each time a monster on your side of the field is flip summoned, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. By playing a sort of proto-Pac-Man strategy involving Medusa Worm and Maui Interceptor Cannon, we can maybe burn our opponents out before they deck us out. Additionally, we have some cards that potentially could outmaster Monk? You see we have brain control in this set, and it's at a super. If we pull three of it, we can likely play some sort of Pac-Man adjacent strategy in which we tribute for the 2400 attack Sphinx monster using our opponent's monsters that we brain control. However, pulling three of this card is not guaranteed. I'd be happy to pull one. We also have Kamenite Blow, which is kind of removal. You can use it using your Monk Fighter and destroy any monster that battles that monster at the end of the damage step. So you can crash your Monk into their Monk, killing it with Kamenite Blow. That's maybe the best removal tool we have for it. And finally, there are a couple of interesting strategies that I don't think it's likely we're going to play. Uh, there are fusion monsters here, and we will be giving everyone three copies of Polymerization so they can supplement their pool with the ability to use GX's main summoning mechanic but Elemental Hero Thunder Giant is a really strong card that can destroy face-up monsters on the field by discarding one card. That said, because it matches up so poorly versus Lone Wolf, it is probably not worth considering, and Ray Chef the Dark Being falls into the same category, a ritual monster that, by discarding a spell card from your hand, can take control of monsters on the opponent's field until the end of the turn. This one is a little more playable just by virtue of the fact that if we're able to find Ray Chef, we likely have also found some number of brain control and can out it that way. Finally, there is removal for Lone Wolf in Royal Surrender. It allows you to destroy continuous trap cards, but only at the point of activation. So you have to find Surrender before your opponent finds Lone Wolf and Master Monk, and if you do that, you don't have to worry about it at all. Realistically, I don't expect us to pull three copies of Brain Control, and as a result, I expect we're going to be playing Lone Wolf and Master Monk, but we're also going to be supplementing it with enough flip monsters that we can go over the top of the other Monk decks by using Grave Oja. Of course, that all depends on what we pull, so let's get pulling. Alright, here we go. Reminder, what we're looking for is as many copies of Brain Control as we can conceivably find, a couple of copies of the One Tribute Sphinx monsters, and Grave Ojas, which are rare and therefore not guaranteed at three copies. Let's go. 24 packs, starting now. Okay, uh, and there's Monk Fighter. That is one-sixth of the cards we need to put this sucker together. 
There's Lone Wolf. There's Cam and I Blow. I mean, we're finding pretty much everything we need, just none of the big high roll cards. Our second Lone Wolf, it's a little late. I'm actually concerned we might not find enough Master Monks. All right, there's all the monk fighters we need. We've seen zero of the sphinxes that are actually playable, which is a little frightening. Plus, no supers yet. Still holding out hope for brain control. Wow. Oh, that is really something. Oh my god. Whoa, the cover card! I actually probably am going to play Ancient Gear Golem, uh, even though it doesn't do exactly what I want. It's a nice finisher. It just sucks that Master Monk and Monk Fighter prevent battle damage, and as a result, piercing won't work. So Death Wombat is an interesting card as well. Uh, it makes any damage that is dealt to you become zero. So if we can establish a lock with, like, Lone Wolf and Master Monk, we can use Death Wombat to get over the Oja decks. As a result, he may be finding a slot as well. There's our first Maui Interceptor Cannon, I believe. That's really late. Oh, thank God for that second Grave Oja. If we got out of here without two copies, we would really be in trouble. Our first Royal Surrender. Okay, we are getting there. God, we're finding every DD survivor. When we inevitably get macro, this is going to really take off. Whoa. And no supers. You got to be kidding me. Oh, uh, starting off Season 2 the same way we started off Season 1 with a dog shit deck. Well, we can probably make something out of this. We found pretty much everything we expected to. One fewer copy of Grave Oja than we wanted, but of course, no rare is guaranteed at three copies. We also don't have very many copies of Royal Surrender, and as a result, we won't be able to beat back our opponent's Lone Wolf combo too easily. We found three Maui, which is fantastic, and ideally we'll be able to make some sort of flip control deck. I just don't know if it'll be enough. Well, here's the list, and oh god. Obviously, our win condition is Lone Wolf plus Monk Fighter, but I imagine so is everyone else's. I thought I was going to get the drop on everyone by outplaying the outplay to the outplay to the outplay to the Lone Wolf setup, but then I realized there's like 10 total playables in this set, and as a result, I'd imagine everyone else is on, if not the exact same list as me, one that is very, very close. I think this is going to be draw dependent, and we didn't draw any of the haymakers like Brain Control that could get us out of these close scenarios. So while I'm optimistic, I'm also a realist. I'm going to go through each individual monster, because I'm sure there's some you haven't seen. First is DD Survivor. This card returns to the field the turn after it is banished. That's never going to happen, but it also has 1800 attack, which is more than anything else. We've got three copies of Death Wombat, which makes all effect damage you take zero. That's really something. Uh, this kind of outs Grave Oja on itself, and as a result, I imagine is going to be responsible for a lot of games going to deck out. Uh-oh. After that, we've got Dummy Golem. Now, Dummy Golem is a weird card. This card allows you to switch control of a monster you control and a monster your opponent controls. I don't think very often we're going to get the opportunity to switch control of Dummy Golem, but realistically, we might once or twice. This card interacts in a weird way with Monk Fighter. According to old UDE rulings, you can't target the Monk Fighter if you have another monster. So if our opponent has a Monk Fighter and a Lone Wolf and, say, a Medusa Worm, they're gonna have to give us the Medusa Worm, which is great news, but also it means that if they just sit on the Monk Fighter, we are absolutely dead. We've got two Grave Oja, could not find three, but I don't even know if three is good. It's got 1600 attack, which is nice, and it deals damage. Medusa Worm is pretty bad, if I'm being realistic. It's a swarm of Scarabs, which is obviously very strong, but it requires your opponent not to attack into your set monster, which I imagine they're doing pretty much every turn and Anyway, to mid shield Gardna, this is important for being able to like attack into a Medusa Worm and then flip itself face down. It also negates spell effects, but those don't matter yet. We've got two Millennium Scorpion. I think that we are going to get into some board states that are pretty gummy, and Millennium Scorpion is a way to like go over the top of those. All you have to do is walk over like a single Death Wombat or a Grave Oja, which is easier said than done, and suddenly all set cards are 
free pickings for this. This is, I think, going to be my win condition, and I am not super faithful that it will be a good one. We've got three Maui Interceptor Cannons. This is probably the best card in the set. It's got 2,000 defense and triggers Grave Ojo. What more could you want? Three Master, or three Monk Fighter, rather. Um, hilarious news. Monk Fighter prevents battle damage. So even if I were on something like uh, Ancient Gear Golem and piercing over this guy, it would still do nothing. Three White Ninja. This destroys defense position monsters on the field. It's like a Medusa Worm that works if they attack into it. And it's also got 1500 attack. I think it's just generally a decent card. We're on three Kamenite Blow for pretty obvious reasons. I expect to get the Monk Fighter lock out early. And if we do so, Kamenite Blow is a great way to destroy opposing Monk Fighters. We've got three copies of Shifting Shadows. This looks very suspect, but I I think it's going to be okay. Realistically, Maui Interceptor Cannon is probably going to be on our side of the field very frequently, and if that happens, we're able to shuffle a Maui and a Medusa Worm and potentially blank an attack. It's like a really, really, really bad Vengeful Bog Spirit, but all we need to get off the Medusa Worm is a single activation and we'll be fine. I'm playing three Graveler. Yep. This is like a really, really bad drop-off, but it is a drop-off, and it will prevent our opponent from drawing cards, which is maybe going to matter in a deck-out scenario. I, I don't know. I'm really reaching for playables. I'm sorry. We've got three Lone Wolf, of course. This is the card that's going to make the thing tick, and one Royal Surrender, the only one that we found. So, we're going to get a lot of ad revenue out of this one. Well, everyone, are you excited? You excited for season two? Very good opening set. I season can't three. wait. A million seasons, MBT and Gavin. One a million, a thousand spear creatures. Gavin. What MBT Gavin? and Gavin. Yeah, people here. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. MBT and Gavin. Yeah, see, we didn't see a slip that one in. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's okay. MBT, Let's see how strong you are without floodgates. We're going to be playing some fair, balanced Yu-Gi-Oh here today. Oh, for uh, sure. For we're sure. going to be playing some good, good Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, good luck. Have fun, Brent. I almost clicked. Admit defeat. <laughs> Off to a good start already, I would say. That's a good start. I am just going to set a card, uh, and I will summon... Elemental Hero Sparkman. Oh! I wanted the, the opener. She's playing Elemental Hero Sparkman. All right. I will tribute summon for Hyrico Sphinx. Oh, shit. Ow. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. Jesus. Okay, so Hyrico Sphinx is an actually Oops. good card. Oh, and Clayman in Brent's deck. Um, Clayman? Classic um, Sweet Defender. This is the Summon Skull of the format. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hold hold the fuck up. Are we are we actually seeing fair Yu-Gi-Oh here today? I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Um it I mean we're seeing a game that was completely determined by the die roll. BD Survivor. You know you can walk over mm -hmm. Sparkman. Okay. No, attack for 18. This is uh going pretty well for Leah, if I don't say so myself. Oh, I need to draw exactly one card to be able to out this stupid bumbo. Oh, Sparkman. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, she's really on the aggro plan, huh? Holy guacamole! Wait, Damn. where's the unfairness? Where's the dumb combo? This is just big bunguses! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is heartbreaking. This is... Awesome. All right! <laughs> two minute intro. Two minute intro. Off to a good start for this season. Uh, Brent, wow. What was in your hand? What was in your hand? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I needed to draw okay. Monk Fighter. Oh, you didn't have Door oh. Fighter! All right. You ready? <laughs> Are you prepared? It's time to play some Yu Gi Oh, baby! Let's go! Oh my god. Oh, wow. And Thank already you. metagaming for paper strat. Wow. Great job, Thank idiot. You wow. You, you are just so very smart. Wow. You're, you're a genius. <laughs> so funny. Oh I my am God. So sorry. I don't know what oh, this, to tell this you. One, I'm uh, very good at this game. This one is a little suspect, I think. I am a lone wolf. I do it by myself. I went against the grain. I never had no help. I never gave up. I made it through <laughs> on top of the hills. What did that say? Did you say I never uh -huh. gave up? And guess what, bitch? I'm about to gay up, too. You're flipping a coin. Yeah, all right. We're going to summon... 
Oh, thank goodness you won't take half your life. Dick Doc Survivor, and we'll go yeah. attack. This guy's crazy, uh, by the way. Yeah, that's all right. Cannon yeah, you know, damage. it really do be the Maui Interceptor Cannons. All right, uh, go ahead. <laughs> now, the part that confuses about me about this card pack is that it's it's Alpha Wolf, not Sigma Wolf. Why is there Sigma text? <laughs> I can't believe we burned all the fucking Sigma jokes before the Lone Wolf set. <laughs> I'm going to tribute summon the cannons for Millennium Scorpion. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I lose that's the it. fucking game. Right. That's actually it. Yeah. Whoa, that's awful. Okay. Good job, uh, Danny. I did it. Wow, that's terrible. Holy shit. I don't think I have a single card that beats this in my deck. <laughs> Whoa, my god. Uh, DD Survivor is the card with longevity, by the way, in this set. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah I, you're you're kind of sleeping on a Millennium Scorpion. Yeah, <laughs> D Survivor has longevity if you pulled copies of that card. Oh. Okay, you get Jerry Beans Man next set, which is almost Ooh, as good. Is that the Jerry Beans? Jerry Bean. Jerry Beanie? Grave Oja. Yeah, there he is. Uh, so I actually set a uh, White Ninja, so uh, that does nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take 1600 here. What is your. Could you read your. your card pack no i can't it's too it's too uh compressed for me Damn it. wow this is uh this is rough uh i'm gonna normal summon des wombat Ooh, yeah. okay i'm gonna try to crash here sure all right stop, i'm gonna activate graveler oh okay gg so, <laughs> you're really gonna make me do this turn top card face up yeah. Do I do that first and then I shuffle, or do I shuffle first? You you turn the top card face up. Okay. There should be a special option on DB. Right. For and it. now you shuffle your deck. You're on. I'm gonna okay. lose to the fucking hero signal deck because you won the die roll. That's what you're telling me. I shuffled. So All right. Now. Go ahead. Hero signal's good. Oh, when I oh I get it now. My pea brain didn't understand. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God has power both on the ground and of course <laughs> in its pincer well you know it really do be millennium scorpion hey uh, do be that way i <laughs> thought i thought this was going to be lone wolf but so far it's been whoever draws the uh the monster that allows you to tribute summon first there's my millennium scorpion. i was about to mill this card too it's just ah, it's just go tribute summon scissors <laughs> Okay, Leah. Uh, so last season, you you didn't you didn't do so hot. It's time for you to take down the champ now that they don't have access to every unfair card in the universe. And uh, winning the die roll That's is good, critical. Yep. And it looks no, no, do it. <laughs> looks like you're gonna do it. Ooh, easy. Yes. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Just draw a two K wall and a and a B beater and uh, it's over. Oh my god. The fuck two, two cards, cards could she be setting? I bet one of them is level conversion lab. Yeah, one's one's Ooh. white magician Pickaroos. I summon Grave Oja. Be good. Sure. It's Clay Man. Alright. Clay Man. Classic. Uh go ahead. Was I the only one with All an right. extra deck? Are you yeah, I didn't me? pull anything. I really wanted really? it. He's survivor. Yes. Ooh, that's pretty good. The beats. What can we say about this game other than 200 attack is critical? I think that's what we can say. She still needs Millennium Scorpion or Kairos Sphinx. Uh, summon Hyra Sphinx. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Goodness. Off to a good start. Let's go. All right. Yeah. That, battery, oh, man. battery Man. Battery Man. <laughs> battery Man. Battery Man. Oh, battery man double A. Yes. Oh, wait. That's actually that kind of cute. Because it's a way you can get a free special by using their reborn and then tribute for Hyros fix. Ooh. That is kind of nice, actually. Yeah. I didn't think about it like that. Hmm. I like Hyros Sphinx's like you. they don't have abs, but they have like ribs. They're really bulky, but you can still <laughs> see their ribs. This is unrealistic expectations for half dog, for Sphinx half body, Sphinx hybrids. Sphinx body types, yeah. yeah. Uh DD Survivor. Alright. All right. I mean, she, she do be surviving. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, oh, we're getting there. We're back. If Let's Gavin see finds it. the third. Go ahead. Do we? Do we... <laughs> the double oh, battery special, mm -hmm. normal summon battery man, and have. Oh, we oh, made it. No. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it to Monk Fighter. Never mind. Oh. We're fucking dead. Oh, it's over. Yeah. That's it. Oh, and Leah oh, wins. Brain what a... control. Leah, did you have the Royal Surrender oh. set? I will not say what I have said. I'm so good at rock paper scissors. You're so All right, good at rock, paper, it's 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 time for the finals. And guess what? Leah has won the RPS. No individual who has lost the RPS has yet to lose. Congratulations to Leah. Uh, <laughs> good luck. Have, good luck. Have fun. I guess. I mean, good luck. Uh, let's uh, let's set a card. Go ahead. Okay. All right, Danny. Can you do it? Oh. I have to check. God damn. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have time to develop a bit this time. We, they've been so fast, we haven't been able to get any bits in. Uh, uh, Sigma male. Uh, women bad. No, no, no. no. Uh, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Don't worry. Lay I know I'm me. banning this week. I'm I'm banning um, the coin. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Ooh, that's, that's a good a, one. That's a good ass, good ass, good ass point. I'm banning scissors. Anyway, higher ghost sticks, I guess. Yeah, that, oh my that, that do be the way that it is, you know. Is uh, uh, yeah, go to battle phase. Sure. Wow, I had the complete cool. misread here. Sure. Oh, hero signal's pretty good just to get a free tribute fodder material out, but play man. Hyro yeah. Sphinx is kind of weird insofar as the only card that gets over it is another Hyro Sphinx. You can't tribute for a Millennium Scorpion and then use that to out the Hyro Sphinx. So it has to be like Brain Con a tribute guy to get out of this. If you summon another dude, you can out the Hyro Sphinx with Scorpion. If they summon another guy. If, if I summon another dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go... Uh, let's go Monk Fighter. Oh Master god, she Monk? has she has them both. Oh, Are you fucking with god. me? Hyrosphinx plus Master here. Monk. Pop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. All right. Wow. Let's get in with the Sphinx. This is so frustrating. She doesn't even have Lone Wolf. She's just using Master Monk as a double attacker. <laughs> it's 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 enough. All right. Master Monk is crazy, dude. A lot <laughs> of people. A lot of people talk about, you know, Feet Ash as the most disgusting display of foot fetishism in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! But Master Monk's got some piggies. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw for turn. It's gonna be a very important draw. Yeah. Okay, Regekior. Fuck! <laughs> hit hit her with the Master Monk. Oh no. Am I dead? Yes. This format mm. sucks. I thought it was going to be Lone this Wolf sucks. Turbo, and it's Lone Hyro Sphinx Turbo. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, DD oh. Survivor to the Graveyard, Master Monk becomes Oh my a, god. Uh, 3,700. Shut up. You're sure. not playing this. Hmm, let's see. What's 3,700 minus 3,700? Shut Unbelievable. Up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Fuck. And just like that, Fuck. Leah is our very first winner with the. There you are. The 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 stupidest deck I've ever seen. Well, we're back, and I have never been more happy to have misread a format. It turns out Lone Wolf is garbage, and I'm an idiot. Uh, but it also turns out that Tribute summoning a 2400 attack point monster is very strong, no matter the format. Here I thought we were going to be dueling with defense position dudes, and instead we were just... Uh, sphinxing them out, boys. Uh, congratulations to Leah on her first Season 2 progression playoff win. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Leah? I mean, I'm happy I won RPS three times. Congra yeah, congratulations. <laughs> don't, really, don't really feel like I deserve this. Uh, I just want to say, I got to disagree with you. I tested this format a decent amount, and Bold Wolf is actually completely bonkers. It just never happened during these games. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. For what it's worth. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Like, I'm going to believe the person who just won three games in a row by tribute summoning a Cairo Sphinx that Lone Wolf is the problem. Yeah, we really need to worry about that one. <laughs> doesn't beat lone wolf it just it just it will happen i played like 10 playtesting games where it just happened and it was just immediately won the game uh, more trickery
All right. Well, with every winner, there are losers. And this time, the losers are myself and Brent, the first round dinguses who could not crack into finals. Brent, what would you like to ban? Um, I'm going to take your ban away from you because um, I don't know what other card to pick. <laughs> uh, goodbye, brain control. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my ban. Fair enough. (laughs) Uh, Brain Control is an extremely powerful card. It gets only more powerful as we get more powerful monsters you contribute. Summon one of the very few outs to the Monk Fighter Lone Wolf setup and also just generally extremely poggers. Like, results in unbelievable OTKs. It's good. Well, uh, in light of that, I guess I will be banning Monk Fighter. Uh, I like hitting Lone Wolf over Monk Fighter because Lone Wolf is the more annoying card, but watching Leah set up the Master Monk reminded me that actually maybe I should hit the card with more application. So we are going to be banning Monk Fighter, the absolute worst card since Fissure to make it onto the ban list. And uh, because there's no spell trap removal in the next set, there's no monster removal that doesn't involve monsters, I think. Uh, We are just going to nip this problem in the bud and uh, get prepared for Cybernetic Revolution. And I'm sure there are no problem cards in Cybernetic Revolution, right? Nothing, nothing of note? (laughs) There's actually good monsters. There's Drillroid. There's, like, cards that do stuff, and that's it. Mm, I disagree. I don't think Cybernetic Fair. Revolution had any lasting effects on constructed play. Uh, it classically had exactly zero playables, and uh, I think that we'll see that repeated here. I look forward to next week when we'll be playing Tribute Summon Kairo Sphinx Turbo again. Uh, <laughs> and I hope you will join us on that adventure next week as we open up Cybernetic Revolution, folks. The decks are only going to get better from here because let's face it, they could not possibly be getting worse than <laughs> what we are what we are playing right now. God, ugh. You know, sometimes you're the uh, master monk, and sometimes you're the dummy golem. See you next time, everybody. <laughs>